Hello, yarn of bees. How are you today? I'm back in my space. I'm hoping you can hear me okay because that's not turned so you can see it. <laughs> um, I hope you can hear me okay because uh, this phone, I, I'm trying to figure out how to do this because this, this is my brand new phone. I thought that this phone was going to be really good for taking pictures and for videoing. It sucks because there's no way to plug in my mic. Uh, there's no way to plug in headphones or anything on this cam on this phone. Why? I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, maybe I'll bring you in a little closer and see if that helps at all with the volume. Um, whoops. So, yeah. So it is what it is for now, I guess. So grab yourself a cup of something or, um, like I'm water. We got lots of explaining to do. We got lots of complaining to do, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Um, number one thing I want to get off my chest and I've done this before, and I'm sorry that I, ha I I feel bad that I have to do this again. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this because I love this person. Cinnamon Stitches. Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. I watched her video, her last video, and I just, I wanted to punch something. Um, she's getting hate mail again. And I just... I do not understand what is wrong with people. Um, go get a freaking hobby or something. Like, leave people alone. Uh, if you can't play nice, then don't play. You know, seriously. Um, I've been noticing a little bit of a change in Jennifer lately. And I had a feeling something was going on. And sure enough, she was getting some nasty things said to her and I just it breaks my heart it really breaks my heart I have been very fortunate I have been um knock on wood knock on something uh that I haven't had much hate mail I've had a couple of comments but that was it and it's like block delete um but other than that you guys have been fantastic I love you guys so much. You guys don't give me crap. You guys, uh, you've been nothing but supportive for me. Um, and, oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, if you're watching this, I just had a Robin sit on my, for, in her video, she was seeing, saying, oh, bird, there's a bird <laughs> on my porch. Well, when a Robin just came and said hello. That's very unusual. So anyway, you know, uh, <laughs> anyways, I, you know, you guys have been nothing but supportive and loving to me. And I thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart. I don't know how I would be able to do this without you. I don't know how I could do this if I was getting a bunch of hate mail. I probably would close down my channel. Um, I, it just angers me so much because Jennifer doesn't deserve this. None of us deserve this. You know, it was getting kind of nasty when COVID was going on because all these keyboard warriors were out there. They had nothing else to do. They were sitting at home and it's like, okay, we're just going to make, you know, ruin somebody's day, you know? And I thought, you know what? I have some choice words for you. Uh, but <sighs> Jennifer, I'm so sorry. I'm, if I could take it all away, I would. Um, I know you're a big girl. I know that you, you're strong and you don't take crap from anybody and you know, you, you let it roll off your back. But I mean, a little bit has got to come sinking in and, and tapping on, on the conscience. Right. So I, I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why can't we all get along? Why can't we just be nice to each other? It, you know, if you don't like someone's channel or if you don't, it, 
if you don't feel anything positive about somebody's channel, then don't be on that channel. You know, ping, go away. Do something else, right? <sighs> I just want to wrap my arms around Jennifer and take all the hurt away. You know, she doesn't deserve it. She does not deserve it. She does so much for this community, you know? So, okay, there it is. I said it. Um, I love you, Jen. I really do. I really do. And uh, I just, I, yeah. I'm going to cry and I'm going to get angry and I, you know, I'm going to just, mm, that's all I wanted to say. I've had, uh, well, uh, a few of you have bought my earrings as of late, and some of you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, which means that you haven't watched my videos. <laughs> so, uh, Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits and Angela from My Precious Yarnery had purchased earrings, and they had talked about my earrings on their channel. And I noticed in the, some of their comments, they were going, huh? She does jewelry now? What? <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I did jewelry for 10 years back in the day. Um, and I stopped doing it because so many jewelers were at craft fairs. It was getting stupid. And I'm not into competing like that. So, <clears throat> so I stopped. Well... I made a couple of bird's nest earrings to show you guys just to see how you guys would react and I got some good comments and then I had people saying how do I buy them uh, I had them on my Etsy say as Etsy store for a short period of time and then I thought no I'm just gonna do them um, privately but uh, People from other channels, if they're talking about it, they have no way other than to come to my channel and watch my videos. They have no way to purchase. So I am going to put them back on my Etsy page. Um, I was hoping to, you know, try and drop the price a little bit, not having them on Etsy. But there's got to be a, diff a way for you guys to get them. So I am going to put them back up. Okay. Um, I have a few left. I haven't got any of the ear cuffs. I should have worn mine. I should have worn it so I could show you. Uh, I, I don't have any of the ear cuffs and I don't have any of the ear, um, the other ones. <laughs> I just, wow. Words are escaping me today, but I do have some of the bird's nest earrings and I have another design that I did that I, I've been posting them on my, um, oh, I don't know, know if I've told you guys. I have a new Facebook page that is Crochet A Canada and it's to buy things. It's things that I make that I'm putting on there to say, hey, if you want to buy it, contact me, yada, yada, yada. So that's another way that you can contact me to purchase uh, so I have been posting on there. I have another design that I came, that I did. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I got left. Okay. I know this isn't yarn related. So if you're into the yarn stuff right now, you don't have to watch it. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So remember how I bought the small, um, oh, actually here, I'll just, I'll show you the big ones. The, the big bird's nest earrings that I had. Um, whoop, there we go. Okay, so that's one pair of the bigger ones. This pair sold like crazy. Um, oh, did I? Come on. These are the, oh, come on. These are the crackle. Uh, the white crackle. And they're just not going to sit pretty. Oh, come on. Really? Don't be like that. No. You're not going to be like that. Come on. Flip. Okay, then I'll hold you. How about that? 
Okay. Oh, there you go. So those are the crackle ones, the white crackles. And then I've got these ones. These are the lava, the lava rock. Okay, and with these ones, you can put essential oils on them so that you don't have to have, to have if you have a sensitivity to uh, perfumes or, or um, anything like that on your skin. You put it on here and you still get the essential oils around you. It's just not on your actual skin. So you just put a few drops of essential oils on there and um, presto. Okay, and then there is these ones. Okay. Okay, now you remember how I was saying that I bought all those beads and they were this, the wrong size beads? Well, I started doing some bird's nest earrings that are smaller. And, you know, quite a few of you had said, sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> quite a few of you had said, well, you know, sometimes you want smaller earrings. You don't want the bigger ones. So I started making them. Oop, hang on. I wish I could get closer so that you guys could. What if I. Nope. Okay, you see that? Okay, now just to put a comparison to, there's not a huge comparison, but there is a comparison. Okay. Okay, so there's those ones. I like these ones. Okay. Oh, I wish I could get closer because, you know, and then you can see the colors. It's got pink and green and blue. And then I've got, oops. Come on. These ones are yellow, white, and black. Oh, come on. And a little bit of orange. Okay. And then there's these ones. Okay. And I will have pictures of these um, on my on my crochet A site. I will put that link down below as well. Now the new ones that I had put posted uh, on my on my page, and I think I put them on Instagram as well. If you're in on my Instagram, these are the star uh, star ones. Okay, so those. those okay these ones are really pretty these are the gold stone and they look better in the pictures than here because they've got um oh man they have sparkle it's like really sparkly can you see that? I don't know if I move them. Okay. And the last ones are these ones. Aren't those pretty? Okay. All right. So those are the ones that I have right now. I have to do something about this fly. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, if you are interested in any of the earrings, then please contact me. Um, you can contact me via email at crochetacanada at gmail.com. 
Uh, you can contact me on Instagram. You can contact me on my Facebook page. You can contact me in my Facebook group. Uh, all of that will be down below. Yeah. You can even private message me on Facebook. So, I finally finished my movie marquee challenge um, project. So that will be coming out in a few days. I am so happy with it. I just have to wash it. Uh, I did put the beads on it and, um, and everything. And I'm just, I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's, uh, yay. I've been working on a few other things that I can't show you yet. I can't show you that for a couple of weeks, actually. But um, I'm thinking about a tutorial if you guys really wanted me to do a tutorial on the movie marquee uh Rwanda that I'm doing I'm not sure if I want to do that one <laughs> but uh I am getting some new yarns in today I ordered some on Wednesday yes I did um I've been wanting the Momenti since the first day I saw it come out. I didn't like the price. No, I didn't. Uh, but the price doesn't seem to be going down all that much. So I just went, you know what? All right. Just take my money. Take my money. Yeah. Because <laughs> I really, I've been hearing good things about it and I really want to try it. So, um, yeah, when it gets here, I will definitely show you. I got to go around three o'clock today. I got to go to the chiropractor first. And then I have to go to the mailbox and see if it's there. Yay. Uh, what else? I, oh, hey, you know what? I got a new yarn. Hang on. Okay, this yarn, where did I get this yarn from? I want to say Hirschner's. I could totally be wrong. Um, but I thought it was bigger than it was. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Brugiers? Yeah. From France. Uh, this is a, it says it's a three. I don't think so. That is a two or so, maybe a very light three. I don't work with three weight yarn guys, but I'm starting to venture out. <laughs> I tried putting two of these together and it ended up being a little too thick for what I was working on. But uh, the color, I don't even know what the color is on this. And of course I don't have my glasses. But it's cotton and acrylic. Oh, that must be the color. Jute. There. I think that's the color there. Jute. Uh, it does look like jute too. It's really pretty, but man, is it thin, thin, thin. And it came in a pack of two, four, six, twelve. Um, I also got it in this color. And this is indigo. Isn't that nice? Kind of heathered look. But I really thought that these two would go together nicely. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I can make a top out of it or something. And then I saw a pattern for a square that really intrigued me so I started and I didn't bring it in. <laughs> I didn't bring it in here uh, but I thought well what if I made up a 
bunch of these squares and put them together in a project like a I've always wanted to make a um, like a not Rwanda but like a, a bathing suit cover or something like that with squares and so I'm thinking about that I'm not sure uh, I did one square in the jute and now I've got to do one square in the indigo and see how it looks uh, when I get that square done I will come back and show it to you um, just to kind of give you the full effect of what I'm talking about but I I'm I love the colors I really love the colors I'm not a fan of how thin it is but I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to go outside my comfort zone. Um, I think I'm succeeding. I think. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been interesting. Okay, um, health stuff. Health is crappy. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your comments. You guys have come to me and told me some of your health issues and oh it breaks my heart to hear that all of that's going on in my community but I guess it is what it is and we just got to deal with it right so the diabetes is kicking my butt it's weird you know it's like before I started on this medication I didn't notice what was going on with me. I knew I didn't feel well. I was I was tired all the time. Um, but I wasn't having a lot of symptoms of sorts. Uh, other than my energy fluxes. Since I started on this medication. And now I know I have diabetes. Holy Hannah. My symptoms are wow um i'm my energy levels are like it's crazy and <clears throat> when i'm up i'm up i'm like yeah great yeah and it's almost like i've drank too much coffee i'm just like blah, 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 blah. and i'm like holy crap and then it lasts for like 20 minutes and then i'm like <clears throat> And I can bar barely get out of bed. Um, I guess it's the medication trying to level me. <clears throat> I'm noticing more symptoms now that he's upped my medication to 0 0.50. Uh, my... I'm constipated. Hello. <laughs> like we, we won't even talk about that part. Um, but I... Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I just, I haven't been feeling well at all. Uh, the, I don't know if it's the medication, if it's the diabetes, if it's like stress, if it's, I don't know what, what is happening with my body, but I'm not liking it. I'm feeling my aches and pains a lot more. My back is just kicking my butt. That's why I'm going to the chiropractor. I haven't been to the chiropractor in like a year and a half. Um, I'm dizzy sometimes. My vision's going all wonky on me. Uh, to see out there, I'm great. But to see, like, all of this, I mean, and it also has to do with the fact that, you know, that's old age, right? You know, but I'm noticing, especially when I wake up in the morning, things are kind of like, you know, when I'm just like, oh, oh, that's not good, you know. Um, I, I'm, this medication tells me, it doesn't, I don't tell it, it tells me when I need to eat, uh, because I will be fine. And then all of a sudden, just instant, I feel sick, just sick. And I'm going, holy crap, I got to get something in my body like now. Um, so I think I'm going to have to start maybe carrying like a little lunch box or some sort 
in the car with me when I'm at work because when it hits, it hits fast and it hits hard. And then I'll eat and then all of a sudden my sugar levels go through the roof and then I'm just like, and I'm like, holy crap, I can't handle these waves, man. You know, it's, it's insane. Um, also, freaking hot flashes again. What is that all about? Are you, those of you on Ozempic, are, are you getting the hot flashes? Holy crap. It's like, I just all of a sudden I'm like sweating again. I'm going, oh, okay. Like I'm, I'm coming out of my menopause stuff. Like I've gone through all that. So what the heck is happening now? But uh, it's like I'm freezing cold and then I'm sweating hot and I have my heater gauge inside of me is like totally broken. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah, totally broken. Um, what else? <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's a roller coaster. I'm absolutely... That's another reason why I kind of haven't been on because I'm my, my emotions and everything are just like, you know, and I, I can't, I can't deal. <laughs> just, I can't deal. <laughs> I, I was talking to Sandy. I'm like, what is happening to me? <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm sure. I talked to Angela too. I'm thinking she's probably thinking I'm batshit crazy, you know? So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I, mm, 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 mm. I have to get my next blood work in July, the end of July, I think, or is it the end of June? No, it's the end of July. I have to talk to my doctor in another couple of weeks where he's probably going to up it again. <sighs> I'm just hoping that once I get to the one point, I guess maybe he'll up it another two times and then I'll be at the 1.0 or whatever level. I'm really hoping that by that time I'm going to be leveled out a little bit because I can't deal like this. I just never know from one day to the next if I'm going to be functional or not. I think George is home. Um, yeah, and he's just like, I can't do anything for you, babe. Like, I, I don't know what to do for you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, George is home. Um, so, yeah, it's just been, I have all good intentions of doing videos, doing tutorials, doing, uh, going to work. And then it all depends on the day when I wake up in the morning as to you got to love it when your husband walks in the door and gives you an Amazon box. <laughs> love you. <laughs> I I'm like every Amazon man. I know we're by a first name basis. <laughs> Geez, I wonder what this is. I guess I'm doing a happy mail or a, a some something mail. Um, anyway, so yeah, my health has been just a roller coaster. Um, yeah. So, but other than that, uh, what else have I got to tell you guys? I can't even think of anything else. I'm sure I've got some other things to talk to you guys about, but I wanted to touch base and say, I'm still here. I'm just dealing with stuff. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so I have to go and pick up my package and then I will be doing that um, video. Um, depending on what's in here, I don't oh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video on that. Okay, or not. hello, goodbye. Oh, you're leaving you already? Come and get this. Oh, okay. Bye. So I've got two more little jobs you should do. Lee's not going to have my... He's not going to be I'm back till... Filming. Oh, okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> okay. I don't think you guys didn't need to know all the tidbits of his job. Anyway. Okay, guys. So I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for staying around. And uh, I'm really hoping that once I level out, 
uh, I will be doing more videos, <clears throat> doing more tutorials, and um, sticking around more. Right? <laughs> okay. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Okay. Bye. A few minutes later. Haha. -ha, I'm back. <laughs> I just opened my Amazon box. I got to show this to you guys because I thought this was the coolest thing ever. I saw this on a video, a wire wrapping video. And I was like, I need that. So these are silicone ears. And I got them for my earrings. So that I can display earrings. Oops. Oh my god. They feel so weird. Oh my god, they feel like real ears. Oh, that's so bizarre. Oh. Okay, hang on, I gotta get put it in the little slot thingy here. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is so cool. This is <laughs> so I got these on Amazon. Uh I believe that they have different ones in the States. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that cool? And it's rubbery silicone. OMG. That I got a left one and a right one. Oh, that is a hoot. Oh, that's so cool. Do they do they have pierced ears? No, they don't. So I'm gonna have to pierce the ear. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny! <laughs> How cool is that? Oh man, that's that's awesome. That is awesome. So once I uh, I pierce it, I will be able to um, I will be able to put these on, like put my earrings on, so that when I'm actually taking pictures of them. Uh, Oops. Come on, come on. When I take pictures of them uh, and post them on my groups and everything and on Instagram and Facebook, they will actually look really neat. It'll look like I actually have them on. Come on. That is the coolest. I didn't even know these things existed. Um... If I had known that I could get something like this when I was, I probably couldn't have back when I was selling jewelry, but look. <laughs> Aren't those the cutest? <laughs> that, that is awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. So yeah, so I'm definitely going to uh, take some pictures of my earrings with these because this rocks. <laughs> oh man. So the company uh, is, oh, I can't even read that. Uh, I'll put the, I'll put the, in, the stuff down below of where I got these. But these are the cutest things ever. They're pricey, but they are well worth it when you're taking pictures of stuff, right? So, yeah. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> Bye.